In Creo Parametric Mechanisms, you can apply different settings for collision detection during your playbacks. First though, let's take a look at a config.pro option that you want to have set. I'll go to File, Options, Configuration Editor, and if I scroll down, there is an option here, Enable Advanced Collision. The default value for this is no. I recommend you set this to yes. So again, you get additional flexibility in how you want the software to react when the collision is detected. Let's cancel out of here. To define your collision detection settings, there are two different places you can do it. One is from your model properties, which you can get to from file, manage file, prepare model properties. I always forget where it is and I'm in that command all the time. So I have it added to my quick access toolbar so I can get to it from one click instead of searching around in the menu like I just did. So inside of this dialog box for an assembly, you have cl collision detection. And right now it's set to no detection. If I click on the change button, I will get a dialog box that allow me to choose different options. Right now it's set to no collision detection. The next option is global collision detection. I recommend against that generally, especially for large assemblies, because it can be really slow to calculate. And if the assembly is big enough, it can just freeze up the analysis. I usually use partial collision detection where you are going to select the different components you are interested in or the ones that you think could possibly collide with one another. And you can select two or more components. It's not just a pair of components. There's an option here to include quilts if you want surface features to be considered as well. But usually I don't use include quilts because again, it's non-solid geometry. Here we have additional options, and these additional options are available because we have that config.pro option turned on, and if you change to partial or global, you're going to get these additional choices in here. So the different choices that you have are to stop when colliding, you could also highlight interfering volumes, or push objects upon collision, and here we have the option here to sound a warning upon collision. So again, you get those different options in here depending on what you're setting. Again, you can set this for the model. Most likely for me, I am going to set it when I'm doing a playback. Let's go to mechanisms mode, applications, mechanism. And in here we have a motion analysis defined. Let's right click on it and use the green flag to run it real quick. And here you can see it operating in here. So we've gone through it. Now we have access to the playbacks. If you go to the playback itself and just hit the play button, well right now it's calculating the different frames. You don't set it from within here. I'm gonna close out of the animate dialog box. If you go to the actual playbacks dialog box, here is where we can set the collision detection settings when we are performing the analysis. And so right now we have no collision detection. I'm going to choose global collision detection and I'm only going to do this once. And you'll notice when I do global collision from the playbacks dialog box, there's actually an additional choice inside of here. So we still have stop when colliding. We have the ability to highlight interfering volumes. You can push objects upon collision, and that's if you have one component running to another, and that component that it that is run into has additional degrees of freedom for translation or rotation. Hey, it'll actually do it. That's some neat stuff. And there's some other options in here. You can sound a warning upon the collision or and or stop the animation playback. But let's see, what do I want to do in here? I'm going to highlight the interfering volumes. We will sound a warning. And the first time I'm not going to stop the animation playback upon collision because that's kind of boring. And I'm only going to do the global once because I will show you a few seconds of the calculation. I'm actually going to put an edit into the video and tell you how long it actually took to compute. So let's start the play over here. And you can see right there it's calculating and now it's computing the interference. And you can see I even have the spinning wheel saying that it is thinking. And I think this only runs for a second and you can see it's very slow. So again, we'll come back when this is done.
All right, that took quite a few seconds to run. You can see that we have a message in the message area and also by my pointer that interference was detected in the motion run. So let's hit the play button over here and it's moving pretty slowly. Let me crank it up over here and you can see in red where the components are colliding with one another. And again, global collision takes a long time to calculate because it has to compute every component compared to every other component in the assembly. And this isn't even a complicated assembly. Let's stop out of here. I'm going to close the animate dialog box. Let's go back to the collision detection settings. I'm going to change this from global collision to partial. And I have one of these a special color so that we can pay attention to it, different color than the other ones in here. I'm not going to include quilts because I don't care about them. Let's take a look at this option to stop when colliding. The interesting thing about this one is when we do this, it's going to recompute, but this time it's much faster than before. And I hit the play button in here. I'm not sure what that option does because we should, you know, we're getting interference right there. It's uh, ringing that bell when we got the interference, but it doesn't actually stop. So I'm not sure uh, what's going on with that. Let's hit the stop button out of here. Actually, let's hear that annoying tone one more time before I turn the option off. Let's crank this up over here. Yeah, I don't like that option for having it ring a bell. Let's go back to collision detection settings, and I'm going to turn off that sound warning. Here we have the highlight interfering volumes. Here's the option to stop the animation upon playback. Let's click the OK button again, and I'll go to play it. And because we changed the settings, it recalculates very quickly. Now we have the play dialog box. Let me crank up the speed first. I'll hit the play button over here. Okay, this time it detected the interference. We still got that uh, warning bell that told us, hey, we have interference in here, but it stopped because it had the collision. Let's go back and change it one more time. So again, what I usually do is just have this option here to highlight the interfering volumes. Let's click the OK button, and let's once again go to play it. Crank up the speed hit the play button and there you can see the interfering volume uh, that is happening there. I'm not sure why I'm still getting the message bell. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, those are your collision detection settings. So what is the point of collision detection? If you know that you have collision in your run, then you can make changes to your geometry to get rid of that. So for example, I'm going to go to a component over here. Let's edit some dimensions. Let's change this height dimension from 80 to 100. And then regenerate. And now that the model is different, let's go to analyses. Let's rerun our analysis then go to our playbacks and with that, recheck our collision detection settings. We've got partial in here for those two components. Let's click the OK button. Let's now generate our playback, computing interference for the interfering volumes, crank up the speed and hit the play button. And this time with the new values, we are not getting interference during the run. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.